Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today I am doing the November Owl Crate box. Um, I did try and do the October Owl Crate box, but for whatever reason, um, my camera wasn't working or something and it didn't record it. So anyhow, this is the November box. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that bell icon. That way, anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. Uh, you will be notified. And if you know anyone that would like to watch my videos, go ahead and hit that share button and send them my way. So let's get into this bad boy. It's heavy. It's probably full, uh, chocked full of goodies. So let's, let's check it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I open said box. So we have this beautiful art print and on the back side is the spoiler card for November and the theme is Growing Wild. First thing, we have this really cute box and use this beautiful flower press to dry and preserve lovely floral pieces and leaves. Perfect for adding a special touch to your journal entries and craft projects. Inspired by Red London from the Shades of Magic series by B.E. Schwab. Designed with love by Peppermint Lines. So we have the uh, how to use your flower press on one side. I have all the nuts and bolts that we need to put it together. Um, so one side it has the Owl Crate logo. And then you have the, the different things to put the flowers in between. And then on the other side, it says as, a, as a thera to grow. So this is inspired by the V.E. Schwab Red London, I think is what it said. It says preserve blooms from gifted bouquets and create keepsakes from your woodland walks with our wooden flower press kit. The design created by artist Peppermint Lines, is inspired by a darker shade of magic and features a fitting Antara Blood Magic Command. Ooh. Next up, so it says, um, it's this cute little box and it says, you took the truth and made it into flowers. So that's really cool. What is in here? Oh, I love it. Okay, so it's this beautiful necklace and it has dandelion seeds in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well or not. And that is so pretty. I love that. It's just so delicate and just simple. And I just, I love, love, love dandelion seeds. But this says, okay, inside the foiled box featuring a wild beauty quote designed by Studio Kyra. You'll find a bit of botanical magic perfect for adoring any outfit. Feel free to use this dandelion pendant necklace for all your wishing needs. Next up, what is this? Let's open it up. This looks like cards and they have little um, flowers on them. And I believe that's elfish, like from um, oh, from the Lord of the Rings. So we have that flower and that one, that one, that one, and finally that one. So this says, Re Renan Ormond uh, recreated some of Tolkien's imaginative Middle Earth plants in a set of vintage style prints. Uh, send these Lord of the Rings inspired botanical postcards to fellow fiction, fictional flora lovers, or if you find them a bit too precious to share, feel free to display them together as gorgeous art pieces. We adore decor that is sneakily bookish. Um, so it says it's supposed to be like a postcard, but it, it, they're just plain on the back. They don't have like the little, um, thing 
to make them look more like a postcard. But that's really cute. Okay, next we have this, I think it's like an ad advertisement. Uh, so we have this print on the front. It says, Tales from the Hinterland. Uh, a sneak peek at Elias Waits. And so this is from, she's coming out with, uh, um, from the Hazelwood, the book from the Hazelwood, the Tales of the Hinterland. She's actually coming out with um, her next book. And it says it's coming out January tw uh, 12th of 2021. So there is that. Okay, <gasps> I'm so excited. This is like probably the most exciting thing that I was excited for in this November box. And it is the reading planner for next year. And you have like your favorites and it's blank. So you can use it basically at any time. You don't have to use it like for 2021. It can be used uh, any time of the year. And you have your weekly planner, your monthly wrap up, your monthly TBR, your wish list, your reviews, all of this wonderfulness all combined together in a nice little beautiful package. And um, before I was just using a three ring binder to keep track of all my stuff. So this is going to be used quite a lot and I'm super excited um, uh, for it. So it says, uh, we've color board with Blue Star Press again to design this reading planner to set you up for bookish success in 2021. Use it to keep track of your reading goals, TBR lists, reviews, and more. Ah, I'm super excited for this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for that. So the next thing I'm pulling out, it says Pipe Stickers, Pip, Pip Stickers by Pip Stickers, Pip Sticks. Anyway, so it's these beautiful stickers on one side and then we have some more fun stuff on the back. And it says, uh, to go with your new planner, Pip Sticks created an ex. Uh, exclusive set of planner stickers just for our subscribers. We can't wait to see how you use both the botany set and the owl crate ones as well. So we have the botany side and the owl crate ones, which I like these. It says reading list, uh, special delivery, book club, photo challenge, all, all the all the wonderful goods. Okay, I'm gonna do this, the pin because the pin is super cute. And this is see here that is the pin it's super cute I absolutely love it and it says okay if you're anything like us then you too will soon come to adore the magical bear that accompanies the main characters in on their journey in among the beasts and briars Morgan Barrett's shop used it as inspiration for its lovely enamel pin that she created to accompany the book Oh, that is so cute. Uh, this is definitely like a spring themed box, which is awkward for a, you know, very fall going into winter time <laughs> season, but you knows, you knows. Okay, so I'm unwrapping the book because I want to show you how amazing this book looks really quick. This is what the book looks like. It is Among the Beasts and Briars, and it is by Ashley Poston. I'm super excited to read this one. Um, and then it has the gorgeous, look at that, uh, like maroon sprayed edges. And we have it signed by the author. Let's see. Oh, and there's a, oh my gosh. So excited look at this art print ah on the inside of the dust jacket that is just so cool I love it and then it also came with <clears throat> this art print and on the back side we have a letter from the author which I'm super stoked about I love getting these I think it's so like personal to get something like that from the author I always keep them inside the books so that way they don't get lost or ruined. Um, let's see here. So it says, inside our book this month, you'll find yourself tra traversing a cursed forest rife with secrets and monsters. Ashley Poston's Among the Beasts and Briars is a dark romantic fairy tale 
that's perfect for readers who crave stories with far off places, daring sword fights, magic spells, a prince in disguise. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover and sprayed edges for a surprise bonus. Catherine Peterslund created stunning reverse duck, uh, a stunning reverse dust jacket artwork just for our edition. You'll also find a letter from the author included as well. So super stoked about that. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous book. And it sounds really, really exciting to read. Um, and then we have <coughs> our Owl Crate um, little pamphlet. It has the uh, interview with an author and then you have the uh, this is the Owl Crate edition and this is what everybody else will get when they purchase it from like Amazon or whatever actually yeah so Owl Crate and Amazon I guess is what or wherever you purchase your books from I really really like the um, Owl Crate version I think it's gorgeous so so pretty and then it says just for fun we have um, a birth month flower guide and then it says if you like among the beast and briars try these other books uh, they have wild beauty into the heartless wood and uprooted and then um, an interview with a vendor peppermint uh, lines which is uh, the person that did the um, flower press and then they have a photo challenge the Owl Babble, which is when the author goes on Instagram and does a live interview with Owl Crate. I love that. And then they give us a um, code for um, listening to a Spotify while you're reading the book to kind of enhance your reading. And then other releases we're excited about this month is A Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White, which is book two. I'm super excited about that one. City of the Uncommon Thief, cast in Firelight, Master of One, and Ruin Song. So that is what all the goodies that we get in there. And then <coughs> it says the theme for the December box is Love is a Battlefield. Flip for a sneak peek. And it says every December box will include an item from Fiction Bath Company. P.S. If you're already a subscriber, the account will automatically renew. Yay! So there is the back of that. So that was an amazing box. <clears throat> I'm not really, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not super excited about the flower press. Um, that's just something like I've done flower pressing before and it's super cute, but uh, then I never know what to do with the pressed flowers once I have them. Um, but I am super stoked about the planner and I love, 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 love the necklace. Um, and, uh, yeah. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that, that, um, that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. That way, anytime I upload a video, you will be notified. And if you know anyone that would like my videos, go ahead and hit that share button and send them my way. Um, as always, stay safe. Stay healthy and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.